Welcome back to part two of Crispy doing all the Yule things. Okay, so here we are in the theater. This is where we left off. We were about to come into the theater and try and do a play. <gasps> oh, it looks like the play is about to begin. And we had already prepared for the eventuality of being called to be a cast member by setting up our emotes here. Just so you know what we're doing, what this is all about. These are the emotes that I've set up in my quick slots. Bow. Talk. Wave. And that's if you get called to be Bilbo. Over here, in case you get called to be Gandalf, you would want to have laugh, shake fist, and rude. And if you're called to be the extra in the play, cheer, dance, and clap. And uh, those, I think I got those from the wiki, probably. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I do to be prepared for the play. Now, oh, not sure what's going on here. I, I was wondering if something was about to start because I got the curtains open. We need to have more people than just the two of us if the play is going to carry on. Um, now, where we left off, we'd already come in, we picked up the quest, we came in here, we visited the guy with the concessions. Good day! And we purchased some flower petals and some rotten fruit. Because we may need that if we are the audience of the play. What is this guy for? Hello there! Art? Oh yes, he's got all these uh, title writs. So these are rewards you can get. And when you... Um, if you don't get to be the audience and you want the title for having starred in the show or something, um, like if, you, if you're only in the audience, if you don't get to be an actor, you can purchase these. When you purchase that written, open it, it gives you a deed. There's a deed for each of these and you get the title that you can wear proudly as you gallivant around Frost Bluff. So uh, that's the way it is. Look, we've got more people now. There's three people. We have enough to put a cast together, at least. And that's how many people you need in order to put on the play. So, um, you'll get a message that there's not enough people. Oh, two minutes. We have enough to do this. Not sure if somebody else comes in, and I hope somebody does, then it's a roll of the dice. Which of the people will be in the play. If there's three of us here, we're all going to be actors. That's the way the uh, the event works. So the play is a really neat event. Um, so there are deeds associated with it if you're an actor. If you're an actor, you can win the titles and deeds for that. If you're an audience member and you're throwing rotten fruit or flower petals at people, um, yeah, you, there's deeds for that too. So good to know how to do it. Where shall I put my uh, products here? I guess that's the best place. I'm going to put my rotten fruit and my flower petals right over there. So I know how to reach them. One minute till the show begins. Okay, it looks like we might get transported behind the scenes. That way, people who come in after we get transported behind the scenes, if we get thrown backstage, we'll be in the play and audience members can still come in and uh, purchase flower petals and uh, rotten fruit to throw at us. So that's a thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Oh, use my second computer here to pop open Twitch just in case somebody shows up in chat. You never know. I don't uh, seek out a lot of audience members for my Twitch stream. I don't go hunting them down. It's mostly I do this so I can grab the videos and put them on YouTube. I don't know how to go live directly from the game to YouTube. So this is the way it works for me. This works. Okay, so. Hey, look, I'm backstage now. I'm going to be an actor. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So which part am I going to play? I think you have to wait a minute to see which part you're going to play. And since we're back here, um, 
Let's see what's going on. I'm an actor, so I have that thing over my head. Why have I got three and they've got one each on their little thing? Am I the extra? Maybe I'm the extra. I did not see. Yeah, I can play that game, dude. Where's my fireworks? Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Do I have fireworks? This isn't my usual. <gasps> Bilbo Baggins will be played by Nilok. Gandalf will be played by Hyperther Me. Which means I am going to be the party goer. Yay. Okay, so these are the emotes. These are the emotes that I'm going to use. These ones right here. In that order, mostly. So this is how the play works. Now, since we're here, let's explore backstage. There's people. There's hobbits talking elsewhere. Where did I put that baton? Oh, she has a dwarf mirror. I guess that would be helpful for lighting the stage. Oh, look, it's Ronald Dwale. Isn't he a member of that writer's club that meets at the Burden Baby Inn in Mickle Delving? I'm pretty sure he is that guy. I'm pretty sure he's like supposed to be a reference to another uh, famous writer somehow. What's he say? Sometimes he says things. What is he so... Speak. What if they simply flew in on giant eagles? No, that would never work. <laughs> Fly, you fools! Very cool. A protagonist. So we've got our other actors here. And, uh, yeah. So now we're waiting for the show to begin. We're just hanging out. Waiting for our big moment in the spotlight. See how it goes. So this is how you uh, participate in the Globe Theater quest. Oh, that was good timing. Here I am. Here I am. I am the party or Where shall I stand on the stage? I think I'll stand here. Because you know what I can do? The other actors, I can throw things at them. I can do that. You know, because the audience members get to throw fruit. Oh, look, there's audience members. We have an audience. Not so very long ago in the sleepy town of Hobbiton. The notable Mr. Bilbo Baggins was preparing for preparing his birthday celebration. I'm so excited for Mr. Bilbo's party. I've heard he will spare no expense. Every guest will receive a sack of gold and jewels from his hidden fortune. Why, the postman has just delivered your invitation. Select the audience and perform the emote. Oh, which one? Which one? This one. Yay, people get to throw flower petals at me if they're quick. Look, and that way, sh this person is working. Fat Loot is getting their deed done. Hobbits mark their calendars and eagerly anticipated. But not all the guests have the same good intentions. Mwahaha, Gandalf, our plans are in motion. Who's that guy? The day of Mad Baggins' party is almost upon us. What evil plan do you have up your sleeve, Gandalf? <laughs> Throw rotten fruit at that guy. Rotten fruit, rotten fruit. I did it! I did it! New deed, rotten fruit, tier one. Hobbits lined up and down the hill, even as far as the three farthing stone. And Bilbo stood at his gate with his nephew to greet them each in turn. Oh, Bilbo, our party is going splendidly. Where's Bilbo? I'm not sure anything could spoil such a wonderful day. I guess this fat loot is Bilbo. Why look, it's our cousin <laughs> Surprisefoot. Why don't you say hello, Uncle? Oh, I get to throw flower petals. Okay then. There we go. The party was very successful. New deed, flower petals, tier one. Okay. Food, drink, music. Some were getting suspicious of some of the more nefarious guests. I must say I've never had so much fun in all my life. <laughs> but who invited the sour-looking dwarf? Oh well, how are you enjoying the party? Target the audience. Do an emote. My turn. Yay! 
I did the thing. You're right, I should enjoy myself. And so the party continued. All throughout the day, there was feasting and merriment. While hobbits were preparing dinner, others were preparing something completely different. Everything's going according to plan, Gandalf. No one suspects a thing, not even that pesky Frodo. Are you ready to spring our trap and steal Mad Baggins' fortune? Oh, throw rotten fruit! Throw rotten fruit! Where's where's the person? Throw the rotten fruit. Am I quick enough? Yeah, I did it. Okay, threw some rotten fruit. After the feast, Bilbo and Frodo arose. It was time for the party speech. There's Bilbo. He's next. Which of these will I be throwing at him? Bilbo and I would like to thank all of you for attending. Says Frodo. Bilbo and I... Okay, we cannot express our gratitude for how happy we are being with you tonight. Before we conclude the evening, my uncle has something he would like to say. You know what happens at this part, don't you? Oh yes, I quite agree. Throw flower petals. I'm rather enjoying Bilbo's speech, are you not? My turn to perform. Click on the audience and do the emote. <laughs> and now I believe Bilbo has an announcement. Okay, so this guy's supposed to disappear here, isn't he? Isn't he supposed to run? So, very well put, Uncle. Throw flower petals at Nilak. Flower petals. There we go. Gandalf now. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He disappeared and ran off the stage. All the fireworks are going off. Mwahaha! Our plan is complete! <laughs> no one will suspect that we've disposed of Mad Baggins. Now we have Bag End all to ourselves. Isn't that right, Gandalf? <laughs> Somebody's just got a fish slap. <laughs> a cunning plan will make them think we're not looking for the treasure. Throw some rotten fruit. And so our tale comes to an end. To this day, no hobbit has seen or heard from Mr. Baggins or the old wandering conjurer. Though some claim on cool, clear nights, the sound of distant laughter and tingling coins can still be heard around the old party tree. There we go. And I'll take a bow there. I got a title! I'm an extra. I can make that active now. Okay then. And uh, got some Lotto points, got a deed bestowed, got a deed completed. Just hang out here and I'll get thrown out into the other part of the theater, but don't need to run out just yet. Attended a performance. That's what you want to see before you run out the door to collect your reward. And now that I've collected that, I can finish the quest to the Frost Park Theater. Okay, finish now. Get, get your Yule tokens there. All right then. Good day. So, Might I have a word with you? You can do this over and over again if you want. I'm going to just flying for now. It's so loud though. Where's all that noise coming from? Yes, the fireworks. Okay. Will you let me speak my piece? Yes, we're going to take this quest. Pick up one of the kegs, bring it back here, or bring it, actually, it's not right here we're bringing it to. Here we go. We're gonna run around here. This is where you find your keg. Any keg will do. Just grab one. And when we're running back, we have to avoid the watchers. You will notice eyeballs on your mini-map. There's one at the bottom of the stairs. See that guy down there? He's always there. You cannot run down the stairs to get where you're going. And where you're going is kind of at the bottom of the stairs. See over there, the thirsty patron? That's where you're taking your keg, okay? But you can't can't just go that Look, there's a watcher there on that little side street. And there's another watcher that's coming up into view here. You see? That's a different watcher than the one that's over here. You see two watchers there? We gotta wait till this watcher turns around and goes away. No, thank you. Thank you, but no thanks. I'm, I'm too busy. Oh, and it's so loud. I can't hear myself think with all the fireworks. Here we are. I have averted the crisis. Yay. Now I can go back. 
and see Basil. Okay then. What else has he got? I do not ask much of you. Tidying up. Okay. So as I mentioned in part one of the video, I'm doing all the quests. I will start and finish each one separately instead of getting two or three underway at one time I'm going to do one quest at a time for this video so that we can time stamp them in the final video and you can um, you can get a feel for how everything is and you'll be able to find things in the video um, if you're having trouble understanding how a quest works like the theater the theater can be kind of tricky if you've never done it before so my videos are going to be of more interest to new Latro players. If you're an experienced player, you know all this already. You don't need me to tell you how the Yule Fest works, but you know, if you want to come along for the ride, you are certainly welcome to do that. Let's see now. I need to pick up more of the things. Picking up all the things. Like the theater. The theater nope. can be kind of tricky if you've never done it before. Okay, I just opened my Twitch on my other computer because you never know if somebody does pop into the chat. I want to maybe have a chance of noticing that, but that's fine. I'm not doing this during peak hours for a reason because, you know, it might be easier for me to do the a video about how to do frost bluff when there's maybe not as many people around. So I'm not tripping over people while I'm picking up grimy dishes here. And unsightly spills. And smelly garbage. Need more leaking garbage here. Okay, pick that up. Oh, I only need a few left. Give me another grimy dish. So, we're loading up on dirty dishes. Here's some smelly garbage. Need one more. <laughs> Nine out of ten. Now I've got all the smelly garbage I need. Let's have some grimy dishes here. One more. One more grimy dish. There we go. Now I just need a liquid spill. Oh, look at this. Look at this poor hobbit who got sick all over the ground. Poor guy. Has anyone stopped to take his pulse, I wonder? Hmm. He looks a lot like a hobbit that was laying on the ground in that exact spot last year. Oddly enough. Okay, tidying Why up Why are you done. bothering me? Because I want you to give me four Yule Festival tokens, dude. Thank you very much. Okay, got my tokens from him. So what has Mabel got for me to do? Hey, Mabel. Would you do something for me? Nothing, Miss Stuffed. Are you here to help me? I'm so busy, I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need all these things, I get it. Let's go get all the things that you need. All right, so winter berries, chickens, mushrooms, and bread at the servant's oven. Okay, we know where the servant's oven is. We could do that one first. Oh, that racket! That infernal racket of the fireworks. Okay. Very festive when you're running around, but if you're trying to talk in a video, then uh, it's a little, a little weird. Oopsie! Oh, don't walk and make things at the same time, Christy. Come on. Do the thing right. So this is not a speed run of the quest. This is taking my time, doing the thing, doing the thing. I'm doing them all in order so I can put together a timestamp video. So if anyone has trouble with the quest, we will have a quick, easy to find visual guide on Crispy's channel. That is my mission. Now, what do I need? I got my bread? No, no, I don't have all the bread. 
I need more bread! I only did two of three. I need one more bread. Make some bread, Crispy. Okay, there we go. Now we need uh, chickens, winterberries, mushrooms. Let's go do that. Actually, we're going to get to the chickens before we get to the winterberries. And in order to do that, we're going to race down the hill. Get the chickens over here at the farm. Pass by the snowball field. I'll go close enough that if somebody needs to throw a snowball at me, they can. Um, oh, somebody's trying to do a snowball game. Am I going to break my rule and do the snowball thing now? I could do that. Can I speak with you a moment? Okay. All right, I'm going to have two quests underway at the same time. Didn't he have a daily wrapper quest? Yes, Can he I did. Can I speak with you a moment? Yes, he did. Give me that wrapper quest. Okay. We're going to come here and we are going to have a snowball fight because why not? Now I should wait for the battle to begin. So what I'm going to do is run up the hill. Display my joy at being on the snowball field with this person. And uh, run up the hill so I can grab a piles of snow and we won't have to compete with the, for the same piles of snow to make snowballs out of when the game begins. Because that's what's going to happen. We've got to wait. Maybe another player will come. Oh, look, I see another player down there. Maybe we'll have some company. So the snowball fight is an interesting little game within a game. So you pick up the quest, you come here and wait for the game to begin. When the game begins, we're going to have piles of snow pop up everywhere. And when that happens, we stop at the piles of snow to make snowballs. And then we'll have a little snowball icon here. And we need 10 snowballs for the easy version. Um, if we do the hard version, it's 15 snowballs we need. And then you just click on the icon that's created over here to throw the snowballs at a person on the field. And if you don't have another player with you on the field, you could sort of go out to the periphery and throw snowballs at random people running past. But the game might end before you use up all your snowballs. But does that mean you have to start all over again? No, it does not. All you need to do is go off and do other quests if that were to happen. And you could come back again when the next game is underway and you can finish the quest by, you know, if other people have come to the snowball field, you can finish the quest that way. So it's so it's not all is lost. You, if you pick up your snowballs, there's nobody there for this round. You can always come back later to finish up. Okay, here we go. The fight has begun. I need to make snowballs first. Let me make snowballs. So it's two already. Two from that pile. Sometimes you only get one snowball. Now I have four. So it's one or two snowballs you'll get from each pile. Oh, I'm doing good here. I'm getting two snowballs per pile fewer piles to click on so that's good wow look at this i'm looking out here will it be one or two okay i've got all the snowballs i need now i get to go throw them at somebody here's this nice person down here i'm gonna throw snowballs at you um i shall bow at you <laughs> give you a little respect before i start <laughs> okay i've taken a victim i've thrown my snowball <laughs> I have all my emotes from the play. <laughs> I'll explain in a story why I'm doing this. What are these? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, she just knocked me right back there. I'm so far away now I can hardly see her. <laughs> I have taken another victim. So what have I got here? I, have to, I need two more to throw. Two more to throw. There we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. And now I'm done the quest. Yay. And I think she is too. Here we go. And now that we're done the daily quest, I can come out here. And um, so you can do this quest 
you only get, do for you? You only get the daily once a day, obviously, but you can do the quest more than once a day. Um, so there we go. We have the, our new deed, raining snowballs. You do it eight times or three for the hard fight. That's how that's done. And now, now we will return to our stuffing the stuffed quest, which is up right up this way. Stuffing the stuff. We got our cooking done at the oven. Now we're doing our chicken nest. Okay, so I'll have to on my timestamps mark stuffing the stuffed when part two of stuffing the stuffed begins. So we'll get our, our eggs. Oh, did I get all my eggs? I think I did. So I think I got all my eggs. And now what's left? Winter berries and mushrooms. Now, when we were down at the pond there, slaying the wintry weather, you might have noticed some winterberry bushes down there. That's where they hang out. And here they are. Here's a winterberry bush. So there's some here. We can run over to the other side of the pond. I'm going to show you where all the bushes are. They're all around the pond, basically, and by those buildings at the end of the pond. Boy, I better go over here by the road to get away from the wintry weather. Here's a winterberry bush. Now let's find the winterberry bushes that are closer to the buildings over here. One by the bridge, so there's plenty of bushes for you to choose from depending which route you're taking to get your questing done. There's one here beside the building. There's some behind the building, way over here. There's another bush. Okay, so now that's all the winter berries. The other thing we need to find are mushrooms. Let's go do that now. our little mushroom tent and we just need to dismount ourselves we'll collect in five mushrooms and lovely mushrooms they are they just look delicious don't they there we go alrighty then bring the foodstuffs to Mabel Mitford and then I will pick up the next quest from Mabel. And we'll see how it goes. We've already got our 10 quests in from Mars Sandy Downs, I think. Don't we? Don't we? Didn't we finish the thing with the 10 quests? Look at that. Yeah, because we've... we've Come back tomorrow and I'll have more gifts for you, okay? So for the doing the dailies in the spirit of Yule, we did 10 events and we get five tokens for that wrapper quest. So we're finishing that in the spirit of Yule for the day. All right. Didn't we do something for him already? Ah, oh, look at that. I could do moving them off again. I'd already done it once. I don't need to do it again right now. We were in the middle of doing a quest for Mabel. So let's continue with Mabel's plan. What can I do for you? Hello, friend. Can you help me with something? Yes, I can help you with something, Mabel. We have a new mission, and that is to go and collect unwilling firewood. So let's do that. We are going to go past the farm where the chickens are. And up the hill behind the farm. And collect some unwilling firewood. Grumpy trees. We'll give you attitude. Curl rocks at you. Sometimes throw you back a bit. So, let's go find our quarry up here. Where are they? If it's a busy day here, 
Yeah, gotta wait for the respawn, but uh, they respawn pretty quick, so it's not usually a problem. Yeah. People have been slaying up here. There's been a lot of slaying going on. There we go. We found a tree. <coughs> now I need to uh, get my combat skills back in order here. Find some more. Where are my... Where are my enemies here? What are all these people doing up here? Look at this! We got all these people running around looking for the firewood. If I just stay here and wait for the respawns, maybe that'll work. So many people. Where's the firewood? Oh, I found a grouchy tree! Oh, I missed a grouchy tree. So we've got grouchy firewood. Oh, here's some grouchy firewood. Got um, There's three out of the nine. Find some more. Yeah, they go quick, don't they? Oh, man. People are getting those respawns. Oh, a respawn. Dude, dude, you're mine. You are mine. I need five more. I need five more of these guys. Where are they hiding? Usually they spawn around here somewhere. Oh, not quick enough. Need a valid target. Oh, this is very competitive trying to find the firewood here. There we go. Got another one. Um, sure. Okay, I'll join your raid so we can share our grumpy trees. That's great cooperation there. Now I've got eight out of nine. I only need one more. Okay, now I have all the firewood I need. Now I can saddle up and leave the raid. You're welcome to have all the rest of the firewood people. Thanks for inviting me into your little raid. That was fun. That's a great way to deal with congestion in the forest. Well done. Well played, as they say. Well played. Where am I going? I'm supposed to be going back to town now to talk to Mabel. Let's go in the right direction. That would be better than going in the wrong direction, which I was doing momentarily. Okay. Go see Mabel. I need to uh, have a look at my file. I have a list of things to do. I made a little list. So using uh, being on Arkenstone to do certain things. I'm going to different servers because I've got different tunes at different levels of completion of the Yule Quest. So did we make a snowman? We made a classy snowman in the first video. So that was good. And then because you can only make one a day, I'm going to be making another snowman on another server. So we did the snowman, we did the all the quests to get the first dailies, we did the snowball fight, we did the theater. Wow, okay. Now we did one quest at a time, mostly, except for the end there. And uh, we've turned in a bunch of quests. We could go have a look at the rewards. See if there's something I want to buy. We could do that. What might I want here? Do I have... What do I have in terms of mounts? Do I have a mount that I want to buy? What have I got here? What ones do I have? I don't think I have the lovely Yule mount that I would like to have. I want to get that the Yule mount from last year that I really like. So, barter items. Greetings, friend. Yes, greetings, dude. What have I got? Where is it? Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Let's just scroll through looking for that mount. Aha! No strider seed. This is the one I really like. I don't have enough tokens to get it yet, though. But I will. I will one day. One day I will. Okay. So now we know. I'm just gonna go park this tune over here. 
because we are done with Arkenstone Crispy for this. All right, so what we're going to do is end part two video. Crispy in Arkenstone Crispy has done his Yule things. Um, our next video will be moving to another tune so that we can see what would happen to Arkenstone Crispy. What quest would he get coming back on the second day of his Yule Festival adventure? So that's why we're splitting this up into different videos. Okay then. So uh, I shall say farewell for now and then take a little break and I will be back shortly on another Crispy on another server. Okay. Hmm. All right, we did that. Brandy wine. Okay, we're back. We have our Yule Festival daily. So here we are. This is Crispy on Brandywine server. And we are moving along with our Yule Fest adventure. Now, Brandywine Crispy did the first part of the tour that we did at the very beginning of our first Yule video. Um, the in first intro quest for Yule. If this were day two, We'd be getting another I quest. do not ask much of you. Oh, hang on, that's not the one. That's not the one. Where is it? Um, well, you know what? Did I do something wrong here? I'm not seeing the quest that I'm, I was waiting for. Maybe this is not the right crispy I'm on here. Okay. So, but you know, since we're here, there's a thing that we can do. One of the things we want to do is... Move around here. Hmm. And do one of the snowmen. Will you give me can, a moment of your time, friend? That we can build. Okay, so the one we want to do here, so you can see how it's done. The cap wearing snowman. So there's all the things to find. Okay. So we're going to go and find all the things that we need to do to do a cap wearing snowman. Now, six I see is highlighted. <coughs> six one. one of two, okay, so one of two sticks. And we'll get more sticks. We need an acorn? Yeah, we do. How many acorns? Just one, apparently. Okay, oh, I see sticks here. And now, we're going to saddle up. We're going to ride down to where the chicken coops are. 
look for one of these items. Okay, we got our carrot. Now we need a cap and a pipe. And another acorn. I haven't got enough acorns apparently. Or do I? Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Find a cap, find a pipe, find coal. It's coal that we need. We have our acorn. Cap, pipe, coal. And all of those things should be in the town itself. So we're going to head back there. Hey Virgil, be back soon. Now, the easiest snowman to make is the broken snowman because you only need two things. All you need is uh, coal and sticks. <coughs> just one coal, just one stick. There we go. We have our coal. Now we need a pipe. Where's the pipe? Somewhere. Ooh, look, I see a pipe. Right here. And now we have to find the cap. Where is the cap hiding? Let's go find it. And we'll go this way. Pretty sure there, there it is. Spotted the cap. Now we know where it is. We're going to grab it. And now we can go and make, we can build our snowman. Whee! Here we go. Try not to run people over. That would be rude. Now we need a snow pile. There's just oh, lots of snow piles. Look at this. Let's do our fancy snowman where someone's gonna see it. People have to ride past it here. Let's do it here. People are coming and going. Oh, what a great looking snowman he is. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, that is. There's your thumbnail right there. New deed, a cool reception. Okay, so he was just getting the deed. There's my screen grab. A chicken and a snowman. That's a really big snowman. Looks pretty cool with his carrot in his mouth. All right, what's next? Now we go talk to Virgil to finish the cap wearing snowman. Greetings, friend. Done. Okay then. Now what I had hoped to do, I thought I was ready to do a completion. <laughs> hey, who did that? Um we shall see. Which place to go next. Okay, so we can do our daily. We can talk to Mara here. Got our daily quest done. Wow, I just leveled. Yay! And I'm not I've only done three of the ten here. We're not going to pause to do the rest because I have other things that we we need to do. We've we don't want to repeat ourselves too much here. So I'm going to log off of this crispy and find another one that will show us one of the next quests. Hang on just a moment. And I'll be back soon.
Why do I help the poor? Hello, friend. Could you help me with something? What can I do for you? Okay, so final act, help the rich. I need someone else to do the final act with. 